Whether you decide to follow your passion to be a professional, an entrepreneur or an artist, the quest for authenticity doesn't end there. Rory Booth has found his destiny as a performer in a variety of specific disciplines and one of these is Kathak dance. Tevin met up with him as he prepared for a solo performance. You could say that versatility is Rory Booth's middle name and his output as a singer, actor and dancer confirms the point. And whether he's rehearsing or performing, he applies total concentration and commitment to the task at hand. Some would call it being professional, but Rory goes a step further, seeing every performance as part of a daily prayer. When they're on stage, dancers make it look oh so effortless, but I suspect there's more to it. Rory Booth is an accomplished artist of many talents, but today we'll be focusing on his passion for Kathak and just what it takes to prepare for a solo performance. Rory, what attracted you to classical Indian dance and why Kathak? One day I was little and I didn't know what I was watching, but it was a, a Kathak dancer, a female Kathak dancer, and I was mesmerized. And then I forgot about it all those years. And then I was doing a show called Tunsil, Ronnie Governor's Tunsil, and I had to learn a dance piece. But when I walked into the rehearsal, Kajal Bhagwandin and Varsha Sharma were rehearsing a Kathak piece. And I'm like, yes, guys, I'm going to learn this. They were like, no ways. This is something you have to have years of experience for. So it was then that, that I was just, the seed was planted in me to go and embark on this new journey to learn Kathak. How intense has your training been? Very intense. This art form requires everyday practice, everyday learning, bettering your movements, bettering your hand gestures, your eyes, your spins, your footwork. So it takes hours and hours of practice and it's up to you. The more you practice and the more you invest in the art form, it will show in your performance. So what's it been like working with your guru, Sri Manesh Ji? It's an awe-inspiring experience. For me, working with him and alongside him and being trained under him is just, I think it's so fulfilling. Rory's Kathak abilities earn him the lead role in the film The Dance. But on this occasion, he was preparing for a solo performance as part of the Sankalp Festival. Rory, I see you getting ready to yep. go onto stage. Are you naturally drawn to storytelling? even as a dancer? Yes, definitely. I'm also an actor. In my acting career, I'm quite a physical actor. We use our bodies to emote what we have to say and Kathak works hand in hand in that. I've read somewhere that Kathak is a stimulus for the brain. It affects it mentally, physically, emotionally. Kathak fulfills every aspect of your life and it feeds all the senses. Mentally, it helps you focus. It helps you think ahead, what's coming. Physically, your stamina has to build up like Cardio-wise, you really have to be on point. Spiritually, when you're praying and when you're telling a story about a God, who, whoever you see in front of you, you really connect on a different level if you really surrender to the art form and surrender to what you're dancing about. What emotions do you feel when you perform? Usually, whatever you're dancing emotes a different feeling. So, basically, it's like a bag of feelings and you just have to give enough that you convey the message and you make your audience feel but at the same time, don't get stuck there. Well, Rory, thank you so much. I'll leave you to it. Good luck for the performance. Thanks. Thanks for coming. The word Kathak is derived from the Vedic Sanskrit and can be translated as a story, conversation or traditional tale. So a Kathak dancer or Kathaka is literally a storyteller. Movement, gesture and facial expression take the place of spoken words. But the dance style has its own eloquence. When you've mastered the technique of an art or craft, it's all too easy for distractions and arrogance to set in. Rory remains humble no matter what he has achieved and he treats each performance as a learning experience, honoring his teacher, his audience and his art by doing so.